All right, I want to talk a little bit about beneficial bacteria and nitrogen cycle. I said in another video that I want to do a really in-depth video with it. Well, here it is. The nitrogen cycle is basically the description for the entire process that goes along with the biological filter in a fish tank. Um, the short story is fish make ammonia. Bacteria in the tank turn the ammonia into nitrite. Um, another type of bacteria in the tank turn the nitrite into nitrate. Both nitrite and ammonia are harmful to fish in any quantity. Nitrate is very unlethal to fish, I'll say. It's not very dangerous for them in normal quantities. In higher quantities, it does get dangerous for fish, but plants and algae eat nitrates. So if you have live plants, algae, um, any tank, usually the nitrate isn't that high. Basically, a big part of what your weekly water changes are for is to remove nitrate and add fresh water to the tank. Um, when you start a fish tank from scratch, there's no bacteria in the tank. There's no nitrogen cycle. Now, a lot of guides will tell you run the tank without fishing it for a few days, and they often the word cycle gets thrown around. You're cycling the tank while well, you're circulating the tank. All the dust on the rocks and stuff's gonna settle. The filter's gonna settle in. Circulation's gonna start to form. Your aerator's gonna form circulation. Well, that's not cycling. Until there's an ammonia source in the tank, bacteria does not form. Now, there's two types of cycles. There's a fishless cycle and a fish-in cycle. Most people do a fish-in cycle. You get two or three fish tops for most size tanks. Put them in. Extra water changes to control the ammonia spike. Um, the other way to do it is either get pure ammonia from the store, use dead decaying shrimps, another popular method. You can use stuff like that to natural, artificially put a source of ammonia in the tank. Use a bacteria booster to artificially cycle your tank. You go to put fish in it, it's already ready to go. Um, when you're doing a fish in cycle, you're going to get an ammonia spike a few days after you have fish in. Then through water changes, you, you lower the ammonia. And then the next, you're going to get a nitrite spike as the next form of bacteria forms. Once you get that spike, you remove that through water changes to keep your fish alive. You get a nitrate spike. And once your ammonia is always zero, your nitrite is always zero parts per million, and your nitrate is under 20, usually between 20 and 40 um, parts per million. That is when your nitrogen cycle is considered complete and the tank is established. Now, even though it's established, when you go to add your next round of fish, you can't add 10, 15 fish even if it's a big fish tank because you need to slowly build up the bio load because right now there's enough bacteria for the amount of ammonia that three fish make. Well, 18 fish make a lot more ammonia than three. So you usually step up your bio load, as it's called, in three to four fish increments max. A couple fish here, that, a couple fish here, a few weeks later, a couple fish there. Slowly build it up, and then once uh, your tank is built up to where you want it to be, it's very easy from there, very low maintenance, low cost. Um, patience is the key. The longer you take to bring your tank up to fully stocked the better and happier you're going to be. You're going to lose less fish and the tank's going to be overall healthier. Um, I know I see a lot of people at the store. Um, I see them getting a lot of fish and I have to ask them, are you starting a new tank? Well, yeah, why? All right, I'm not going to let you get that many fish. I'm going to limit you to two or three tops. Get two or three Danios or something to cycle your tank. Maybe a couple 13 cent goldfish. Nothing expensive, nothing fancy. Just simple fish to get the tank established. Um, I see a lot of people, their tank's been going for years on end and they lose fish here and there over the years, normal fish loss, age, stuff like that. And then they want to get 10, 15 fish. All right, we're bringing our tank back up to full stock. Well, you shouldn't do that either. Even though the tank's well established, the bio load it can support is the five or six fish they have left. It can't support those 15 or 20 new fish 
and it's, you're going to get what's called a mini cycle. The tank's going to have to like reestablish itself and make it be able to support the, all the extra bio load. So um, that's about what I have to say about that. If you have any specific questions, PM me, email me. Um, I try to answer comments. Um, it's not that confusing of a topic. If you have questions, the internet's a great source. Forums usually have a guide on the nitrogen cycle. Um, you don't need to be a major in biology or chemistry to get it. It's simple. Um, if you have a good test kit, and you have a good guide to go by, you'll be alright starting a fish tank with a fish in cycle. If you think it's cruel to do a fish in cycle, read up on the fish list cycle, make sure you have a good test kit, find a place to buy pure ammonia, no surfactants, no scents, no other ingredients, and do a fish list cycle. I'll do more videos, one specifically about a fish list cycle eventually, but as far as the nitrogen cycle and beneficial bacteria go, that's it. Alright, thanks for listening.